we thank God for this morning and for his love unto us and for his wonderful works to us the children of men the Lord be praised forevermore for indeed he is worthy of all praise and all glory he is doing a work in us working on us transforming us quickening us and making us fit for his kingdom we bless your name Lord Jesus this morning we bless your name we thank you for the wonderful things Lord that you do for us and concerning us we thank you for the provisions that you have made for us we thank you for the grace you so freely give us we thank you for holding our hands and, <coughs> and walking with us never leaving nor forsaking us your name be praised forevermore we are gathered unto you this morning our fellowship is with you and is with one another this morning thank you thank you that by that which every one of us supplies may we be built up into a holy habitation that you will be in the midst of us we are spirit beings and by your spirit we are joined together by your spirit Lord we are joined together that you would inhabit us let our lives Lord let our daily dealings be an opportunity for you to manifest and reveal your awesome power thank you you jealously guard over us for we are precious in your sight Lord to you be praised this morning to you be praised to you be praised yes Lord let's read our scripture this morning and, uh, and let's spend some time to pray yesterday as, as we as we read our scripture in Hebrews chapter 12 as we've been doing for a while I, I said that imagine what silence would have been in heaven if he had not been the lamb by his blood if he has not been the lamb in his blood heaven would have been very silent 
Now the scripture says to us in from verse 22, But ye are come unto Mount Zion, and unto the city of the living God, <coughs> the heavenly Jerusalem, and to an innumerable company of angels, and to the general assembly and church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, and to God, the judge of all, and to the spirits of just men made perfect, and to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than that of Abel. 25 says, See that ye refuse not him that speaketh, for if they escaped not, who refused him that spake on earth, much more shall not we escape if we turn away from him that speaketh from heaven. So, in reality, even though in 24 it says to us that to the blood of sprinkling that speaketh. It didn't say that spoke, but that speaketh. Present continuous. So every single day, every single time, the blood is speaking. And last night as I read over the scripture, I noticed that even though I have known, but I noticed the word used there that it says better things than that of Abel, suggesting that Abel's blood also spoke a good thing, and only that the blood of the lamb is speaking better things. And so I spent a little time looking to see how Abel's blood that cried for vengeance, how would he have how, how would vengeance have been a good thing? And I realized the possibility of other things that the blood of Abel have spoken as well. But of course I'm not here to preach or teach, but I'm here to lead us to pray. So If I ever preach or teach on these things um, anywhere else, I probably would make it available. Um, <coughs> and uh, and and we would notice that if, as we walk and we observe and we come up onto God's mountain and we see this blood which is speaking yesterday we we affirm that this blood is being sprinkled if it does not touch you you are none of his own you are uncovered you are not owned and the fact that the blood touches you and is speaking over you it cleanses you, it puts a seal over you, it makes you his own, it draws you in, it gives you a right, it gives you a standing. <laughs> but <clears throat> as we looked through this scripture, I think the week before or so, when we were looking at the men 
the spirit of just men made perfect. We read Revelation chapter 5, and I want to take us there again and give us a certain background so that we could pray again. And God willing, as the days wore on, we will spend some time to draw upon the speakings of the blood. Revelation 5, from 1, where it says that, And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within, and on the back side sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book and to lose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven, nor in earth, neither underneath the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much, because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look upon or to look thereon. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, have prevailed to open the book and to lose the seal, the seven seals thereof. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of saints. And they sang a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and language, sorry, every kindred and tongue and people and nation. And of course, tongue there is language. And has made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. And I beheld and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beasts and the eldest, and the number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand and thousands of thousands. Now, so basically, you notice these, call it three or fourfold repetition or, or recognition being given unto the lamb that was slain. And of course, as the lamb is slain and as his blood flowed, the beasts, that's the four beasts, and then the four and twenty or twenty-four elders, they sang a chorus and they declared that he is worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof because he was slain. Because his blood was shed. And then they said, you redeemed us to God by thy blood or you can say you redeemed us to god by the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things on our behalf than the blood of evil out of every kindred and language and people and nation then the angels Sometimes their number amazes me. 
in amazing way. That's the one reason why when someone dies or a child dies and and some pastor says that God wants him to become part of the angels in heaven, it annoys me when I hear that. Doesn't matter who says it, it annoys me. Their number is amazing. And he puts it, he says, 10,000 times 10,000. Then the thousands have no numbers anymore. Thousands of thousands. Then they also declare it. And you beloved, you will see that. Worthy is the lamb that was slain, again slain. The one who shed his blood. That because he shed his blood, he receives power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. So the blood that is shed is restoring power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. In fact, that is why the blood is continually speaking. That's why the blood is continually speaking. Because that blood that was shed must be able to bring all things from every corner to be reconciled unto the Father without fail. Without fail. Now, when the angel spoke, and declared it, you would have thought that would be the end of it. But that was not the end of it. Verse 13 says that, and every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and underneath the earth, such as are in the sea and all that are in them, had I seen Blessings and honor and glory and power be unto him that seated upon the throne and unto the Lamb forever and ever. So, because of the blood that was shed, every part of creation recognizes and is drawing upon it that, hey, Something great is happening and something awesome is happening. While the blood is continually speaking, the four and twenty elders and the beast will be repeating and repeating. And then the ten thousand times ten thousand and the thousands and thousands of angels will also be declaring and speaking. And all of creation will be speaking and declaring. Don't forget, beloved, that includes you and I. So we are joining in the chorus of a declaration of the blood of sprinkling, bringing honor unto the Lamb that was slain, and establishing that everything must come to be reconciled unto the Father. Now, in order not to get carried away, I want us to pray through this systematically. The scripture says that they came and they sang unto him a new song. That's verse 9 that thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood. Now, if God indeed redeems, he redeems to the uttermost. We want to pray 
that the redemption offered by the blood of Jesus is complete. Is complete. That out of every people's group that you have come from, out of every tribe that you have come from, out of every language that you have come from, and out of every nation that you have come from, you will be the most perfect that will stand before God because of that which the blood is speaking for you. If there is a woman that must stand before God has redeemed unto him in perfect completeness, it is you, beloved. If there is a man that must stand faultless before him, if there is one that must be endued with power and strength, it must be you because the blood of sprinkling is speaking. That this is Martin, picked from Ghana, picked out of the tribe, picked out of the clan, picked. And every kind of limitation that tribe offers, the blood redeems you from it. Every kind of hindrance that is offered. Beloved, as, 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 as a pastor, I've prayed for people and I have encountered people who sometimes you would find out, as you pray for them, you would find out that maybe because of the family they're coming from or maybe the home they are from and things like that, you will see strongholds that are trying to limit them. Some you hear, sometimes when you hear the declaration in the realms of the spirit, you, you, you cringe. And he says that this one shall forever be a servant and a slave and, and cannot stand up. And this one is forever be one who must never come up and be counted. And this one must not marry. And this one must not have a name that is recognized and all. And, and you hear these contentions in the realms of the spirit. But the scripture says that because of his blood, you have redeemed us. So the blood will be speaking and say, you are lying. This one I am redeeming unto the Father. This one I am picking up. This one will not be, be barren. This one will not be one that has no name. This one will not be one that has been scattered apart because the blood is speaking. And the scripture says, it speaks better things on our behalf. You know, it speaks better things. And, and that blood is speaking. And, and this morning, we want to declare and say that we are the ones that have been redeemed. We are the ones that have been redeemed. We are the ones that have been preserved. We are the ones that are presented faultless before the Father because the blood has power to bring to the uttermost. Hey, Marabion, the Sonte, the Bion, the Sente, that someone will speak forth and say that I draw upon the speakings of the blood of Jesus into every part of my life. I draw upon every speaking of the blood. Marabion, the Sonte, and Kete. And someone will declare and say, the blood that speaks better things on my behalf. I draw Kayande beyond the Kete Sene in the name of the Lord Jesus. It doesn't matter what the family line is. It doesn't matter what the family has been dedicated unto. It doesn't matter what the rights in the family have been. But if you are being picked from that family, you will be the perfect presentation because the blood is speaking for you in the name of the Lord Jesus. The blood is pre presenting you blameless. Kayando Lubron Dilibikata in the name of the Lord Jesus. May strongholds begin to snap. May things begin to give up in the realms of the spirit. May strong men begin to bow this morning because the blood is speaking that you are a perfect redemption. You are a perfect example being presented faultless. You are the one that must stand faultless. You are the one that must stand without, without any hindrance in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Karabion no Kayanta Rabadini Mike. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Kemanto Labion de Reti, Ikaleben de Rebion no Zon Divi Bikete. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Karaman Nuameken Divi Bikate. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus. The blood of Christ is speaking. The lamb that was slain, the lamb that was slain, his blood is speaking. Graban de Lebianic, lifting Carabion de Sete, out of the hand of strongholds, lifting out of the limitations of a language, lifting out of the, 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 the covenants of families, and lifting Marabion de Sonte Lebianic, covenant that have been standing for years, Carabion de Bendi, the blood is speaking overthrow in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus, the limitations, the limitations that are from homes, limitations that are from men, limitations that are from nations, you and I have been lifted by the speakings of the blood of Jesus. He said, you are worthy, for you have redeemed us. You have delivered us by your blood. The blood has power to deliver. Where you must arrive to, where you must stand. The blood make a way for you. The blood presents you there. Where you must stand. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The blood cannot touch something and not be able to bring it to utter perfection. The blood of sprinkling. The blood of sprinkling. Scripture say with a household. Amen. The Rebianic has the blood touch your household. A Marebianic has it been sprinkled. Kayan the Rebianic has the blood touch your children. Amen. Rebianic Zenianic. Hey, Rabianic Tom Galibi Dionic. A Maraba Dianic. A Mandela Bianic. Who is it that will stand to speak for when the blood is speaking? A Marata Kayan the Rebianic. A Kalude. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Karanda la Badiribi. Gekata Rabadabo Nanyozo Rekalere Bianekata Rebekate Remande Monozunimike The blood is speaking He Mande Le Bianekata The blood is speaking He Nezediono Koto If you have been dedicated at childbirth the blood is speaking He Mara Bianekata Zenimike If you have come in a family line that must be limited the blood is speaking He Maraba and Dalaba Dianekata The blood is speaking that you will come to that place of perfection and redemption in the name of the Lord Jesus. The blood is speaking. If there be any limitation in your family, the blood is speaking. Redeeming. If hand is joining hand, if wickedness has been planned, the blood is speaking. That you will be able to sing him a song. He is putting a song in your mouth. That you will be able to say, by your blood, Rabbi Anekata, by your blood, Rabbi Anekata, by your blood, Rabbi Anekata, have you delivered me? By your blood, Rabbi Anekata, by the blood, Rabbi Anekata, may the praises be open, may the praises be open, may the limits be broken, may the limits be broken, may the flaws be removed in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hey, Rabbi Anekata. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the voice that is speaking, the blood of the voice, the blood of the voice, the blood of the voice, go to the foundations of the earth and release your soul. <clears throat> and they sang. A new song saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. 
For thou wast slain and has redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nations. And someone prayed this morning. That wheresoever my name has ever been mentioned wrongly, whatsoever in all of creation, in the heavens above and on the earth and underneath the earth, whatsoever that has been done or spoken or tied together to limit me, I am redeemed by the speakings of the blood this morning. Everything that concerns you that has been held back, may the speakings of the blood release it. Everything concerning you that has been held back in all of creation, the blood of sprinkling that has been sprinkled over you, and that which it is declaring and speaking, may it release you in the name of the Lord Jesus. May it release you and your household. May it release you in the name of Jesus. May it release you. May it release you. The blood that was shed, the blood of sprinkling, in the name of the Lord Jesus, everywhere that your name has been mentioned, everywhere that you have been tied up, every limit, everything that concerns you that has been sat upon, the blood of Jesus, that is speaking better things for you, that blood, it's voice, release you this morning. His blood release for you this morning. His blood get into the temple this morning. His blood get underneath the earth this morning. The voice we heard underneath the earth this morning. The voice we heard in the heavenly this morning. The voice we heard in the animal kingdom this morning. The voice we heard in the trees this morning. The voice we heard Ramon did he be cut out. Everything Gavan did he be cut out. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In years behind, may the voice go forth. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the voice of the blood. Hey, Rabbi Aneketen Dilibikata. May it release someone this morning. May it release the household this morning. May it free someone this morning. May you be freed by the blood. The speakings of 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 the blood. Be heard this morning. Things concerning your body and your spirit and your soul. Things concerning your body. That's your health and your well being. Things concerning your soul. Things concerning your spirit. That is resisting. Be subject to the speakings of the blood of Christ this morning. And someone declared that the blood is speaking over me. The blood is speaking. He's speaking restoration. He's speaking wellness. All around us. He mara bianekete, ngola bianekete. He rabianeke ron di ribikata. The speakings of the blood, rapalore bianekete. He merekete, ngoron di ribikata. He baradianeven di ribikete. He kalurebi, ngarobon di ribikata. 
e nazini mi katala badu e pekete ngorandi ribi andezu e nezedi ngolebri andezeni e kalude bi ngenionzondi ribike in the name of the Lord Jesus e baraba niri bi ondozo e merebendi ribi ane ondi ribi kata the blood rabi aneke that is speaking merepeke no loronia e nazi aneke me nothing refuse the speakings of the blood. Nothing resisted. Look at yourself, beloved, and declare that because the blood of Jesus is speaking for me, I will be what the Lord has ordained that I will be. If I have to bear fruit in old age, I'll bear fruit in old age. If I have to lay hold on my possession, I will lay hold on my possession. If I have to be the only one standing in my whole family, on it, I will be standing on it because the blood is speaking for me. I echo that which the blood is speaking for me. The scripture says, better things can be heard concerning me. May be heard. As a ministry, we echo that which the blood is speaking for us. We will be heard, Karabio no sote. We will not sit as lepers, Keyato Rabio neke. But we will stand forth and be heard. Because the blood is speaking. We echo it. We echo it. Rabio Zenemeke. The Lord, He is worthy. May you join that chorus, beloved, and sing unto him a new song. May you join that chorus and sing unto him a new song and say that thou art worthy. Oh, Jesus, you are worthy. You are worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. Oh, Marabion, the city, and thou, Marabion, they say, for thou was slain and hast redeemed me. Hey, my me, Martin, Adovanda, me, you redeem me, 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 you redeem me, you redeem me. That if there's one man that must be presented in my family, I will be standing because the blood that was sprinkled upon me has redeemed me. I will be standing, the perfect example out of the wonderful family. If I must be standing, the perfect example of that that has been redeemed out of the nation Ghana, the perfect example, Rebianeke, delivered me. Ramiate Tengali Rebiondo Sote, Rebianeke. A perfect example. Remara beyond the city. The scripture says concerning Abraham that God who is able to pick a man from the east and establish him. And establish him and make an example of him. If under old covenant he can do that, under new covenant with better promises. With the blood that is continually speaking. He is able to pick you from your family and make an example out of you. That this is the one that do not give up. These are the ones that receive the better promises. Hey, Maria Biondo Soto, we draw upon the blood. Yes, Jesus. We surround ourselves this morning. With that which the blood is speaking for us, we surround ourselves this morning with that which the blood is speaking for us. The Lord be praised forevermore. The Lord be praised.
Beloved, may you keep echoing it. Because this blood is continually speaking. It's continually speaking. The Lord bless you, beloved. And keep you. The Lord turn his face unto you, beloved, and, and be gracious, very gracious to you. And the Lord lift his countenance upon you and bring you into his peace and grant you peace, perfect peace. Amen.